Greetings and salutations. Today, looking at the history of Jackie Robinson. And as well, if you didn't know, Jackie Robinson was once a Republican. Jackie Robinson was remembered for many things. The first black baseball player to play in American Major Leagues during the 20th century. He made history by playing for the Dodgers. With pinch batter Frank Keller at bat. Robinson dashes for the plate. It's close, and umpire Summers calls him safe on the daring maneuver. Helping to help in racial segregation in baseball. But I'll bet you didn't know that the man was actually once a registered Republican. Let's talk about it. See, the Republican Party is a lot different today compared to what it was then. As far back as 1953, America was home to a much more progressive Republican Party. Every gun that is made, every warship launched, every rocket fired signifies, in the final sense, a theft from those who hunger and are not fed, those who are cold and are not clothed. Before the 1960s, the party was still, in a way, viewed as the party of Lincoln, who, remember, signed the Emancipation Proclamation. I bet you didn't know that Jackie's parents gave him the middle name Roosevelt in honor of, her, in honor of Republican President Teddy Roosevelt, who had a disdain for racism before white supremacist power made Roosevelt decided to, in a way, go towards conservatism. Branch Rickey, who is the Dodgers executive, who had signed Robinson, and he was also Robinson's mentor, was a Republican. Robinson had supported and worked for civil rights activate, advocate and Newark Governor Nelson Rockefeller. Dr. King even said this, if we had one or two governors in the Deep South, like Nelson Rockefeller, many of our problems could be readily solved. Flash forward to 1960. Robinson had endorsed Richard Nixon for president. Nixon had convinced him that he would support civil rights. Robinson had thought John F. Kennedy was insincere in his support for civil rights. John F. Kennedy would win that election. The party switch between Democrats and Republicans would occur in the 50s and 60s. And why is this exactly? Well, the Democratic Party would begin to endorse legislation to advance civil rights and voting for blacks. Those who switched, including U.S. Senator Strom Thurmond of South Carolina, ran for president back in 1948 as a segregationist and would later filibuster for more than 24 hours to prevent a passage of the 1957 Civil Rights Act. Let's go into more bit of details about uh, this shift. Barry Goldwater, Richard Nixon, and others in the GOP would use what is now known as a Southern strategy in a way to spook Southern whites over the Democrats' proposal that blacks have equal rights. During 1968, Nixon would again run for office, but this time, Robinson would not support him. During that time, Robinson was more active in civil rights and appeared with Dr. King. Robinson would also become a writer for the Amsterdam News. And if you're wondering what that was, it was a weekly black newspaper. He had even sent letters to Clarence Lee Towers saying, I suspect that unless the party showed a desire to win our votes, it may, reassure, it may rest assured that I and my friends cannot and will not support a conservative. Robinson had support Herbert Humphrey as president and had said in the Amsterdam, I have my right to remember that I am black 
and American before I am Republican. As such, I will never vote for Mr. Nixon. Richard Nixon would win that election. The last letter he wrote to the Nixon White House, he pled to Roland L. Elliott to listen to black Americans before racial tensions would, in a way, go mad. And the last letter he sent was saying this. Black America has asked so little. What if you can't see the anger that comes from that comes from rejection, you are trending a dangerous course. We older blacks, unfortunately, were willing to wait. Today's young blacks are ready to explode. After his death, Robinson's number forty-two would be retired, meaning no one would be able to wear that number. But what are your thoughts on Jackie Robinson at one point having been a Republican? Do you find it interesting? Do you... or does it, like, if... Put your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll be sure to see you next time.